Don't say anything too terrible. I mean... No heated gamer moments. Or whatever. Look at it you, Rick. is. Rick always over, puts over. everything in the podcast before that is obnoxious. <laughs> I mean, I just... I like having the cold open, and I kind of like having the, like, non-game-related stuff, like just our random conversations, because it's usually... Kind of entertaining, at least to me. Yeah. I just know that it's always like, hey, don't smoke crack, kids. Here's Pandaros. <laughs> good advice. It is good advice. Or, or that's now our cold <laughs> open for this episode. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, uh, so uh, it's up now. Phrasing? <laughs> okay listen <laughs> alana pointed out that lady christina is kind of flirty and jack is extremely flirty so you know what the master of time and space is allowed to be flirty and i decided that my sexuality was women and jack exactly so, sorry rufus <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's definitely jack's sexuality too everybody and anybody <laughs> yeah and Jack. Yeah. And Jack. Duh. <laughs> if you, you ever know, meet he the loves himself. himself or like oh, yes, he loves universe himself. version. Yeah. Definitely banging him. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Doctor so Who. <laughs> we were never on rails. That's <laughs> that's that's the real joke. Uh because this is Doctor Who and uh we can go anywhere in time and space, but that's not where we're going today. We're going other places. Um yeah, so I'm the master of time and space. It's what I decided to call myself because it's better than game master. I like that. I think uh, we should always make up weird titles, game mastering names, yeah. Yeah. arbitrary titles. Yeah, we've never I'm, done that before in our lives. Yeah, Kayla no. will direct the vibes from where she's at. I also yep. didn't like declare myself thirst master of monster hearts, so or of um, our entire right server. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just the director of Thirst. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get it right. Got it. I don't. I don't control it. I just direct it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, why don't we introduce our characters, and I guess who you are, if you want. <laughs> Do you want that? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoever wants to go first. I don't have to know skills because I don't have to do it. Hey, TS, yeah, it's what? out. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, who are you? <laughs> Introductions. Who are you I am playing Rufus, a uh, unit goon. You're welcome. You're unit goon number one. Oh. <laughs> that's, an important, that's an important part. Yes, thank you. Recently promoted uh, after <laughs> somebody else died in a red shirt. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But also... T he's TS and he writes comics. Hi, I'm TS and I write comics. You can go check out Tokyo <laughs> Fire number one. Pre-order it over on campykillcreations.com if you like cyberpunk <laughs> and comics written by me. And also, if you like this scarf, you can get it over there as well. So go check that out. Use my promo code. I'm TS and I write comics. Is and that what I get uh, with my uh, with my Kickstarter? Or, no, it's not Kickstarter. It's the Zoop. 
it's, it, my, is, uh, it's, it was a backer reward. Uh, I missed that I, one. I need more money. You can pre-order it even if you miss the campaign. <laughs> so thank you so much for your time and for your cash. Hashtag uh, influencer. Hashtag influencer. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> but I'm also playing Rufus Unit Goon number one today because I'm a gigantic Doctor Who fan. I've just seen so many episodes. So I remember many, when six Christopher... Episodes. Eccleston wore that leather trench coat and all the other ones too. A gigantic <laughs> fan, so I'm so excited to be here. Uh, it's also really helpful that. that this is David Tennant. So, you know, <laughs> nice nice suit and sand shoes. No no leather jackets here. I also love David Tennant. Broad Church is great, <laughs> and uh, I didn't know that that tied in, but I'm so excited now. Uh, I think Rick did it. You're right, it's because I am controlling all of time and space, which is a yeah. lot to do, really. You're a time lord. See, I know. I know the, <laughs> the jargon. I think you just Googled that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, who's next? I'll go. Um, hello, my name is Alana. I'm the owner of Spectral Craft. I make dice, and I also make, or, uh, make art for even footing games as well. Um, I'm playing Lady Christina D'Souza, and she's an aristocrat, a minor aristocrat, who is also a thief, and uh, she likes to steal things, basically, and she met the doctor through um, stealing something and trying to get away, and they got taken through space, so, <laughs> and she eventually stole the double-decker bus that took her through space in the first place. <laughs> that's nice i must have missed that episode <laughs> we're we're all experts here yeah um yeah so rick just so you know commands only work as long as one hasn't gone up immediately like the one that is in front of that i apparently missed the actual command part i just saw the like the thing so yeah it's fine boo <laughs> um i'll go since we're <laughs> going around a circle since you already started um, i'm aaron and i read even footing games because <laughs> i learned from influencers <laughs> um i am playing velen who is definitely not based on vestra <laughs> who is a green silurian um who is just hanging out in on earth and you know you know, contracting to agencies that might need her alien expertise. Unit Torchwood, whatever. Governments galore. She's an important lady. All she does is wear a little veil over her green face. And date all the women. I was saying, all the women. <laughs> yes. And maybe Jack. Maybe Jack. Who knows? <laughs> I, like how, I like how it's gone from definitely Jack to maybe Jack. <laughs> well, we don't want to give it away right away. <laughs> Amazing. All right, Kayla. Yeah, that's me. I'm last. I'm Kayla. I'm <laughs> um, I'm from the Potions and Potpourri podcast, but I'm also part of Even Putting Games now, where I just direct vibes over on the Discord server. I don't have a real job there, um, but neither that's do the rest of us, job. so... <laughs> that's an important job to have and I'm playing Captain Jack Harkness obvious, um, arguably one of the sexiest people in all of time and space obviously one of the I mean you, you started to yeah. say the right <laughs> um, and well it said arguably because there's probably a few other people that are contenders but anyways um, <laughs> and uh, oh look at the Mothman pillow I love him <laughs> Sorry, I was just, I was getting my pillow, and then I was like, oh yeah, we're playing a Mothman game. <laughs> it's themed. Captain Jack uh, does a lot of his own work through Torchwood after him and the Doctor had their series of adventures, and um, he sometimes works with Unit, and uh, any chance he can get to ride around in the TARDIS with the Doctor, he'll take, because it gives him more opportunity to go flirt with other people in different universes, so, including the Doctor. You know, like you do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right fantastic and on that note uh we find ourselves traveling through time and relative dimensions in space otherwise known as the tardis 
uh, with our doctor, who, as I have established, is David Tennant. Uh, so, you know, full sand shoes and very, uh, what did, what did Donna call it? The like skinny suit? Skinny suit and, <laughs> yeah. co yeah. and converse. converse. New tenant or old tenant? Um, I'm going to say old. old tenant. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That got serious. <laughs> no, I, I like the new tenant. I like the new tenant a lot, but it did gives very different vibes. Again, like I said, pretty big expert here. I knew that there was two. <laughs> Not including the clone tenant. I'm aware of that one, too. So definitely didn't see that on the wiki. I knew that because I've seen it all. Yeah, of course. TS is so, like, it's kind of intimidating. Yeah, you know, how much knowledge I mean, they have, honestly. I mean, really, you, you knew that, like, the doctor wore a scarf that one time. So, you know. It, it was a different scarf and it was a different doctor, but I'm I'm close. I'm I'm you proud knew of that you. though. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I've seen Expert so many gifts here. of this show. You know, <laughs> practically writing it by now. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Uh, so while the doctor had planned for you all to go to see the very last uh, of the Beatles performances while they were still touring in 1966 uh, as their last Good year. Yeah. <laughs> Great year for Mothman. <laughs> uh, so their last show was in San Francisco in August of 66, which conveniently is around the time that Mothman appeared. Um, this is not August, though. You find yourselves uh, as you see the TARDIS doors open. You're expecting and dressed for San Francisco weather in August. Pretty warm. Uh, you're also going to a Beatles concert. So, you know, probably wearing something appropriate for a concert. I don't know. I'll let you guys decide that. Um, still, still a little veil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what would Bellin wear to a, to a Beatles concert? Um, full, uh, Victorian dress and a little, <laughs> but her corset makes her look banging. So <laughs> can't deny that. There you that. go. <laughs> is it, is it a Beatles corset? Yes. What is a Beatles corset? What is, does it have like the tour dates on the back? What do you mean? Like, Obviously. Yeah. yeah. It's made out of a, t a tour t shirt that she sewed into her. It should just courses. be it should just be the English flag. There Ooh. you go. Perfect. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Which is obviously a Beatles shirt. Mm -hmm. Because England is the Beatles. That's I don't it. know. Yeah. Lucas is a big Rolling Stones fan, and back. I have the same corset, so should have worn that tonight. <laughs> Everybody actually, she just goes around like she's part of the tour because she has an English accent like everyone does in Doctor Who. <laughs> Except for Jack. It's, oh, true. it's true. It's true. It's true. I know stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Kaylee, you were smart and picked the one person with an American accent. <laughs> yeah. And he's also from this time period, isn't he? From like the early 50s? No. I don't remember. Or is it or was it earlier than that? Was it the 30s? It was. I thought he was like from the right? 40s or 30s. I can't oh yeah, you're right. Like he's that. been he's been everywhere. Both, but, oh, he's from the future. Literally. You're right. Atlanta's yeah, right. He gets trapped it's, in time. But yeah. yeah. That thing. This show memory. gets wild. I, that's that's uh, that's crazy stuff. You totally knew that too. You were just <laughs> testing. Yeah, yeah. and you passed. I didn't pass on my own character. It's okay, I'm the master of time and space and I didn't pass either. So <laughs> No, the master's the bad guy, Rick. Yeah, that's yeah, oh, you know, shit. Oh, debatable. No. debatable. <laughs> Depends on who you he are. He just he's misunderstood. Yeah. <laughs> or the master is a serious love interest. They're they're not, not always uh, not mutually exclusive. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Let me introduce you some, to some fanfic. I'll send you some links. Give me a second. <laughs> That's okay. We've, we've been playing Monster Hearts. We know that monsters are romanceable. Yep. Even Everybody's romanceable. Humans are Time Lords. <laughs> yeah, everyone. Two hearts means twice the love. <laughs> <laughs> I told yeah. some friends that I wasn't going to get that horny on this show. Like, I was going to try to keep it 
I was gonna try to rain y'all. Do you know in. where you are? Oh, I my do. I do. And I was like, I was oh. like, I can do this. Oh, honey. <laughs> and I was wrong. I was wrong. Yeah. Last You're time I said be wrong about we that. could we could rain it in, and we were babies. So I feel like it was built into the game. And this time, yeah. I think I got it over my head. Yeah, I think I think if we had gotten horny on that one, I would have just been like, we're ending the stream right now. Right, right. right. <laughs> like this is yeah. this is getting inappropriate, but yeah, no, this is that's on me for adults. signing up to a Doctor Who, uh, you know, the sweet little BBC show that was made for children. I, uh, I it was very educational. The shows that I had watched, it I terrified didn't know. many children with yeah. the mm -hmm. <laughs> it seems like it's it's changed over the years. And I'm well, like, we know yeah, that you're such that. a big fan, and that you definitely watched all of Torchwood too. So you're. Yeah. I actually have all seen of the <laughs> some of Torchwood. <laughs> Torchwood is like arguably way hornier for just having one season. <laughs> well, that was because zero. of Jack being in there yeah. the entire time. But it's well, just it's because of everybody up. actually. But yes, <laughs> I've seen none of Torchwood. So. Oh. Well, geez, Rick, you think you're qualified to run this game? I, mean, I, I ship, I ship Captain Heart, uh, Captain Jack and Yonto. Oh, <laughs> Yonto! We're, we're, so, we're doing so good at playing this. Game. Aaron, no! <laughs> Aaron, you just broke my heart again. <laughs> this is pre. <clears throat> this is Yonto era. Okay. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Yes. It's fine. Yeah. Rude. <laughs> I hate that. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we'll just pretend like that never happened. Because you're going to edit that out anyway. <laughs> yeah, we'll fix it in post. We're not live. <laughs> <Yes>. okay. <laughs> we'll roll it again. Totally like, when I do the boomerang effect on TikTok, it'll be it'll be good. Yeah. Remember, yeah. Uh, well, you weren't there for it in our chat where it was like, I'm not going to edit every single thing we do into a <laughs> podcast anymore. <laughs> yeah, that was a lie. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, what about everyone else? How's everyone else dressed for this concert? Um, Jack is definitely just wearing like a sleeveless leather vest, open, no shirt underneath, and then like high waisted, like dark brown leather bell bottoms. With that's fresh. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm into it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everyone is into it. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> I was thinking that Christina, she could be wearing like a sort of more in the vein of Austin Powers, one of the, the girls with the hair done up and everything. So Like the yeah. beehive? Yeah, yeah. Or, or, or even just like the ponytail because she's the spy, yep. right? So. Uh, what about Rufus? Uh, I mean, I'm dressed exactly the like character. the fourth doctor, except for just way older. <laughs> like when when you look when also, you look at Rufus, August, well, it, yeah. it was supposed to be August in San Francisco. So if you're like old, the fourth Doctor, you are going to die. Yeah, um, but this is the thing: I'm so <laughs> close to death. I'm just freezing, anyways. Uh, like picture Sir Ian McKellen just walking around. You're like, you're so talented, but you're how close. dare you say that about Sir Ian McKellen? He's gonna well, live he's, forever. He's gonna live forever, exactly. But <laughs> but Rufus is not. Rufus is just Rufus should have been fired a long time ago. But because of the high turnover rate at Unit, there's like, ah, just keep him. He, I, somehow he survived. So also feel free to use this or not. But I feel like Rufus should just be an influencer who happens to work at Unit. <laughs> He always talks about his grandkids on TikTok, but he doesn't have kids, let alone grandkids. It's never happened. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. He was just thinking ahead. That was forward. Exactly. Well, well through time, when he came, somewhere. When he came from the 2020s, <laughs> back with the doctor, but he is like a dad influencer <laughs> in the future. Uh, he's big uh, on TikTok. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> At least a thousand followers. At least at least one thousand one hundred followers. Thank wow. You. wow! Yeah, you're welcome. You're Impressive. welcome. I, I, you know, I, I I canceled a lot of uh, a lot of meet and greets to be here tonight. So. <laughs> Not Rufus, you. <laughs> I mean Rufus. Rufus did. Uh, it's not like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh man, this is the most productive <laughs> in 35 seconds. <laughs> Everyone's left. Anybody who came left. <laughs> hey, at least they came. Ah, <laughs> oh, phrasing. On. I mean, That's is it phrasing if it was intentional? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so as the Tardis doors open, 
you're all expecting it to be pretty hot. You know, San Francisco in August is not going to be chilly. Uh, but as the doors open, a cold, wintry breeze blows through and large snowflakes drift in. You are definitely not in San Francisco. Hmm. Doctor, are you sure you landed in the right spot this time? Oh, yes, of, of course. I, I know exactly what I'm doing. And uh, he just pulls out his... Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, pulls out his sonic. Jesus, I can't think of words now. And kind of waves it around. And is like, this is odd. Like, not in San Francisco. Where are Didn't we? I just ask you that? Oh, did you? I thought you well, said, I, I I said, said do you know where you're going? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. I said it didn't, it didn't seem like we were in the right spot. That's fair. Uh, we seem to be in West Virginia. Oh, that's not good. But that's it is not still, where the Beatles concert is. It is still 1966, but we're a few months too late. It's uh, What's West Virginia? It's west of East Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> the one has only been like in the interior of the earth. <laughs> the are. With the chuds, I got it. I'm, <laughs> I'm just not big on geography, okay? <laughs> Neither are people in West Virginia, so this is, yeah. you fit right in. <laughs> you know, Silurians been around for millions of years, very advanced civilization, don't care anything about West Virginia. I also, swore I would never come back here. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? You said also? Me? I don't mm -hmm. remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. We're doing great. Uh, yeah. So, what are you all doing now that you're uh, not in the right place? Doctor, you can't just, like, backtrack a little bit? can't just like rewind on the TARDIS and get us back to the Beatles show. I have well, a, uh, I have a little treat. I like tap my pocket here for uh, me and Ringo that I was looking forward to sharing some alone time with him. <laughs> I was uh, very much expecting that to happen. So Jack, it's now canon. Jack fucks Ringo. <laughs> Duh. Probably all the Beatles, honestly. Yeah. At the same time. If they're into that, I Durham. feel like, in 1966, it would have been a mixed, you know... <laughs> yeah, they're definitely... A package deal. <laughs> a lot of packages. <laughs> um, uh, Velen just... Uh, she puts on her uh, British flag coat over her British flag. <laughs> Good thing you brought that with you. I did. Well, I, you know, green skin. You always got to cover up. It's, you know, also sun's not good for you. You'll find that out soon enough. Um, <laughs> also, Silurians <laughs> don't like the cold. No, yeah. because we are not hot blooded. Um, but I'm gonna. Do we need to fix the TARDIS? Does it obviously need fixing? Cause... No, no, it's not broken. And you see that he's just like going around pulling all kinds of levers and twisting knobs and like trying to, to figure out how to get you guys to the right place. And so Does it usually go ping, ping, crackle, ping? Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's supposed to. Oh, okay. But I thought it was supposed to go cr ping, ping, crackle, pong or ping, pong. <laughs> <laughs> I've in fact heard it go words there's a rur before so and he told me that's normal i'm just i've i've done quite a bit of traveling in my time and i kind of i'm good at equipment of all sorts. Like, but that's not all you're good at <laughs> i feel like jack was probably there whenever river was there and explained mm -hmm. to the doctor that he always has the parking brake on that's why it makes the sound it makes <laughs> So you know that it's it's definitely making some weird noises. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that that last ping is definitely problematic. Do you need some help looking at things? Because I could take a look. But I don't really want to be by the door because it's cold out there. Well, why don't, why don't you all just uh, kill some time and I'll get everything 
back in order. There's nothing to do here. We're in what West Virginia. What are we Virginia. supposed to do here? Yeah. I've never been here before. If this There's was East also... Virginia, we'd have so many things to do. <laughs> East Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I hear East Virginia is particularly lively this uh, time of the And warm. Century. We're not dressed for this weather. <laughs> no. I mean, absolutely not. I need well, at least two more coats to do this correctly. <laughs> to anyone else, Rufus is absolutely dressed appropriately for the weather. <laughs> You'll understand Rufus, when you get to scar. my age. It's so cold. <laughs> but Rufus, you have three scarves on. Do you think I could borrow one? No! <laughs> This would terribly clash with your outfit. Felon, I can keep you warm. Come here. And I like kind of open my vest uh, for you. Felon's like, well, I guess I'm in West Virginia. <laughs> what happens in West Virginia stays in West Virginia because people don't leave, nor do they come to West Virginia on purpose. See? West Virginia Triangle. That's canon now. I'm starting to get concerned about being here. <laughs> well, I'm sure I'm sure there's something. Uh, you know, exploring the local culture. But yeah, you said well, there was last time. Pittsburgh. Well, Jack, you always find someone. Well, <laughs> you know how well that turned out last time. <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. <laughs> We were running for our lives in uh, less than 10 minutes. Well, that's that's just normal. This is so reassuring. Are you sure you don't need help fixing the TARDIS? No, no. Come along, everybody. Let's uh, go see if we can uh, find the local tavern or something. <laughs> that would be where Jack would go. <laughs> Do we know what month we landed in? Uh, oh, yeah, it is, it is December. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm that makes sense for the Mothman stuff. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. you're putting down. Yeah. Okay. It's almost like you planned this. Weird. I didn't write this, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe somebody else did. <laughs> I did change it from summer to winter because, you know, we're not in summer now. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you, you live in the land of winter <laughs> it's so cold out this scarf is actually really appropriate for what's happening right now like I'm freezing uh, anyway uh, so you all make your way out of the TARDIS I guess yeah. Vester makes sure hats on tries to cover her ears with her with her little veil I mean, you definitely would all have been on the TARDIS long enough to know that it has all of the clothes you could ever need like you can change Okay, Vester goes we to should. the coat closet and gets a, a long uh, trench coat and scarf and hat and mm -hmm. bundles up. Maybe some ski goggles. <laughs> Does Jack just get like a furry vest? <laughs> no, no. He dons his like regular like button up and like long coat <laughs> attire that he would usually wear. <laughs> so many buttons. For, for this weather. So I'm just going to go for the, the hat and the scarf, but definitely going to keep that leather jacket. Mm. Like you do. Yeah. What about Rufus? <laughs> I just put on like two or three more parkas. Just <laughs> like some are fur lined. <laughs> the icy grip of death is coming for me, West Virginia or not. <laughs> can, can you even move? Yeah, Rufus, you look. <laughs> You Do we have to very push? large. Like I feel like someone might mistake you for uh, uh, somebody. Tell me a really big kind of alien because I can't think of one. <laughs> That's the nicest thing anyone said to me. And the last person who told me I looked very large was Jack. So this is probably probably a Jadoon. I mean, yeah, one of those definitely. Yeah. They're not from West Virginia, and that's that's what I know for a fact. I know yeah. nothing about this place. I I feel like East Virginia would have been the better. It would have been better much better. Call. I I I'm telling you, this is the the one positive thing is we could probably start walking now and make it to Pittsburgh for a drink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Rufus would maybe pass in the process, but Doctor, do you think you could just pick us up in Pittsburgh if we start walking? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the doctor seems to have disappeared somewhere into the TARDIS. 
such confidence. It's much Let's bigger go. on the inside, so we might need to go outside and uh, wait. That is a good place to wait. <laughs> just, just stand, stand outside. Thank you for not pointing out how obvious that was, but uh, <laughs> there's a reason why I'm playing goon number one. <laughs> Okay, but uh, if there is a drink that is hot somewhere, like at a tavern, maybe we should go there. Yes. Velen's going to get all the hot toddies. <laughs> 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 all right, so you make your way out, uh, and you are not horribly far from Silver Bridge. The bridge that you can't see because my head's in the way. Um but it's it's there. We have it there. Listen, <laughs> it's a concern that I have a lot. <laughs> okay, I have a big head. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So you are not far from Silver Bridge. Um, that we Can all I really know quick mostly to collapsed. Say, does somebody have their Twitch volume up? Because I hear a double uh, of Rick. Just wondering. I do not. It may just be my headphones. I don't know. Do you have a double of Twitch up? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe double there's two checking? Rex. No. The scary thought. Oh, it's terrifying. <laughs> two thirstmasters directing two thirsty streams. <laughs> what would we do? <laughs> I mean, allegedly this Same is a time. less thirsty stream, but you know. You and Kayla Not are yet. here, and like you two yeah. are the ones who made uh, Together Among the Stars the most thirsty. So <laughs> shocking! I'm shocked. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, we now have a mission, Kayla. It's accepted to be as thirsty as possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is I that gave the spider babies on my episode. Does that count as thirsty? Spider babies. They got put there somehow. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Anyway, moving on from that, because that's a different kind of, not to kink shame, but, you know, that's a very different <laughs> kind of thirst. Uh, so, anyway, you are all near the bridge. Uh, it is a little bit um, mostly vegetated where you are on this side. It is the Ohio side. You. Yeah, I know, Ohio. We've already established in Monster Hearts that Ohio is hell. That's correct. Um, we're doing worse than West Virginia, Ohio. <laughs> Wait, so we're actually not even in West Virginia? We're actually basically, in West, West you're, Virginia? You're basically in West Virginia. Oh, man. So we're going to need to... Uh, what? Like, go to walk across this bridge to get to West Virginia? Because right now we're West, West, West Virginia? So many West. <laughs> how many West can we add to this? Jack, how much well, acid three, did you have? Three West equal a West, so I think that seems <laughs> right. True. Captain Jack definitely would have watched a lot of Spongebob. I could see that. <laughs> <laughs> Just gets really stoned and watches Spongebob. <laughs> I think, honestly, we shouldn't let this, you know, mishap ruin our fun. Let's go find all the acid we can. I don't know how much is available in West Virginia in this time period, but I'm watching a lot. One. That'll uh, keep us, one acid. It'll keep <laughs> one us acid. occupied. <laughs> yeah. Give us something to do while the doctor is fixing the TARDIS. Exactly. Also Walking is probably more warm than standing, so let's do yes. it. Yeah, Velen, you feel like you're stiffening up as you stand out here. Yeah, it's it's not good. I'm going to move my arms vigorously, <laughs> <laughs> like a like a speed walker, and actually like kind of walker. start yeah start jogging in place a little bit because I'm very cold. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't help that you're in that full Victorian dress. Those are probably a little bit breezy. I mean, not with no. all the petticoats I have. I'm fine. Yeah. Do you have the arsenic <laughs> collar, too? Did you, like, dip it in there? Well, no, no, I've got a couple scarves, and I've got my ski goggles. So. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Those definitely go together. It works great. It's almost <laughs> like steampunk, except it's steampunk. <laughs> steampunk. Yes. I wow. like how you're the one who suggested that. <laughs> <laughs> of all the people here. <laughs> so, uh, Belen, you're kind of jogging in place and trying to get the others to move along. Yeah. What's everybody else doing? Oh, uh, probably want to get bit. Velen uh, across that bridge pretty fast. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's not pretty when they freeze up. I naturally move like a mall walker anyways because I'm this old, so I was already moving in that general direction. <laughs> Got your um, pants on under all the layers. <laughs> yeah. If Jack has his gun on him, he probably is just like lightly keeping it on his his hand on his holster and like looking around for any uh, creatures, just creatures in general. Uh, yeah, West Virginia the, known for the West its Virginia creatures. woods. Yeah, I mean it is actually. Mm -hmm. That wasn't sarcasm. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, no, I know, know everything I say sounds sarcastic, <laughs> but I did mean that in earnest. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you saw your equipment, but you do have your squareness gun. Yes, I did see that. How come I don't have any equipment? Okay, it's, it's fully that's because blank. you're goon number one. Goons don't get because <laughs> they don't live they die so quickly. Like the red shirts don't last because they throw them into volcanoes with no equipment. Like that's what happens. Yeah, it's fine. I I have my my weapon with me at all times. Let's walk. Let's go. <laughs> your weapon meaning your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I must be say weapon, that. Girl. <laughs> Yeah, girl. I was going to let it leave to the imagination, but that's fine. Yeah, your your 10-foot venomous tongue. Yep. <laughs> it's always it's always close by. I would love to get poisoned by that tongue sometime. <laughs> well, watch out because let's move cuz <laughs> What a zinger. I'm just picturing Velen like jogging circles around Jack while having this conversation. Yes. <laughs> All right, so you make your way across the bridge into Point Pleasant, West Virginia. And you see there is quite a gathering outside of one of the churches. What's happening oh. there? Are they having religious ceremonies? Does Seems anyone know likely. what the... what the? I, I would assume in, in England, I think it's pretty prominently Christian or Catholic or some Anglican. variety. Yeah, I would guess Baptist <laughs> out here in the 60s. I don't know what a Baptist is, but you know. Protestants. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? That really, that really helps. <laughs> they worship a secular god. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain Episcopalians uh, to you real quick <laughs> while we're here. Um, you, there was someone who died, and you're real—they're really about him. Okay, let's go talk to them. That's and all you say, need to know. We yes. know about uh, our... Jesus. Okay. <laughs> they like to kneel a lot, and they're like yes. Catholics, but with more rules. And they really don't like women, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah honestly, if, you can, if you could watch your ankles, I can still see them. That might not be great. You could, if you could cover those, the foreheads, they find those very attractive. If you could uh, don a larger bonnet, that might be helpful. Velen is very covered. Okay. Just... She's got the, the dark veil. Yeah. Oh, perfect, perfect. And, yeah. and ski goggles. But she does have, you know, still the the shape of a lady. So that's all she's got going. For. She's got quite that, the that's shape. The, that's the quote of the day: is the shape of the lady. I uh, I can appreciate that. I too can appreciate the shape of the lady. Of a lady. <laughs> is that Jack or just Caleb? Uh, both. Both. <laughs> Porky, no ghosts, right? Like, why are we, uh, why are we limiting this? Yeah, right. Don't even pigeonhole myself here. <laughs> uh, yeah. If 
you would like to kind of figure out what's going on, I would say probably maybe awareness and intuition or uh, potentially like knowledge. Who, anybody? Anybody, yeah. I... And I, I did forget uh, before we started, but you all should have story points. Um, you can use those to add to your role. So like if you... If I said, you know, you were short by a couple of points, you could use those story points. Um, you can gain them through good role playing, through uh, like self-sacrifice, things like that. Um, or through just like if you get captured by a bad guy, then I'm going to give you story points. Like if you choose to. Um, you can also use them to potentially like some of you have abilities that relate to I think that wasn't Jason, but Either way, uh, you should have, I think uh, Lady Christina has one where you can use story points. Oh, yes. I do too. Okay. I, I couldn't remember. I'm um, expert at this game, obviously. Very I have profound. a four in awareness, which is sort of high. Yeah, I do I mean, too. How does that do work too. with the rolls? Yeah, so I think I said beforehand, but just to refresh you guys. Uh, you roll 2d6, and then you add the attribute and any skill. Okay. So I got a 6. I got a... No, a seven. 7. Total? I got a yes. 13. Okay. And Kayla, that was, like, the dice plus your skill and attribute? Oh, I didn't do my math. It's okay. uh, it's I got okay. a six total on my dice and then a four with my attribute. Gotcha. Did you not have like yeah. knowledge or uh, the other one I said? Oh, if it's knowledge, then I got a sixteen. Hmm. Dang. And, okay. okay. Uh, What'd you say, Atlanta? There's, there's also there's a keen senses, which is adds plus two to awareness for me as well. Is yeah. that just applied to? Okay. Yeah, you would just add that like any time. Okay. So I rolled Wait. a quite high. <laughs> I have a four, three, plus two. So that's nine plus 12. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot. Yeah, 21. Yeah, I can do math. Um, I say because I did not do that math and didn't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, definitely. Lady Christina would probably know a decent amount about, you know, even 1960s older Earth West religion. Virginia. Amazing. No, <laughs> about like the religion of older Earth. I have no Earth. idea what any of that is. <laughs> uh, but Velen, you might have read about it. Maybe you aren't like immediately aware, but as uh, Lady Christina kind of explains about, you know, Christianity and uh, Jesus, who you're older than. And all kinds of fun stuff like that. You're like, oh, no, I remember. I remember reading that. Yeah, sure. and uh, the person who is speaking seems to be a preacher, uh, potentially doing some kind of, like, revival. Oh, so he's trying to influence the crowd to get them to do what he wants or to get money from them. Got it. Both. False is good and also bad. <laughs> I've got it. Good I'm for them. I'm ready for it. He's very charismatic. I can appreciate that in people, but I'm sure Jack here knows all about being charismatic and being able to get people to do what he wants <laughs> and to give him money. Well, I don't know if I've ever told you the story, but uh, I spent a whole weekend as a as an accomplice to the Pope and the Vatican, trying to steal the crown jewels one time. So uh, uh, I, uh, I have, a, I know where we are at the church. That's for sure. Jack, have a story point for that. That's fair. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't surprise me in the least. Shut up. Um, no. That's why we call you Pastor. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
totally. Yeah, I'll so so Pastor Jack, can can you find out what's going on with this particular revival? Um, oh, I would go, but I am feeling a little. You're green. probably not welcome. Yeah, a little green I think, for it. I think I would fit right in. <laughs> probably would. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of just like um, very confidently like make my way to the very front of the crowd. Okay. Stand like directly in front of whoever it is that's preaching. And just like listen, or are you saying anything? No, I just listen. Okay. Uh, they are passionately preaching about some kind of creature, some like mysterious sighting. Uh, and it seemed to be like stoking paranoia, like talking about how people should be afraid because this is clearly a sign of the apocalypse. Villain mm. puts her collar up, make sure <laughs> the, the back of her neck is showing. Well, and Velen, you can hear because uh, the voice carries quite a ways, you know, even if you're towards the back of the crowd or a little bit further beyond that, uh, you hear talk about a dark winged creature with fiery red eyes. Oh, that's, that's not me. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but that does sound like the, um, Bleep Lorps of Dagobah 5. <laughs> Dagobah 5. That, that, yes. That's cool. Yeah. Yes, knows all about that lore drop that you just did. I mean, I He's am a, a middle-aged white dude, so of course I know much about Dagobah, but... Uh, <laughs> that's just, that, that came with the handbook. I, I, I didn't choose that. That's just, I got that the same day I started my podcast. <laughs> Uh, at least you're one of the good podcasters not like the other <laughs> white guys with podcasts I don't not... have the charisma and or muscles to do that I'm not influencing anybody to take any supplements uh, we're I'm... influencing people in other ways with that yeah scarf. drink a delicious coca-cola <laughs> <laughs> not sponsored yet <laughs> yet uh, so, yeah, Jack, you can definitely hear that, uh, like, they're talking about some kind of creature. Um, you hear a lot of the people around you kind of whispering about it as well. Like, people mm -hmm. saying, oh, yeah, I saw it last week. Mm -hmm. And they all yeah, seem to be I, pretty scared. I would turn to one of them and I would say, so which apocalyptic creature is it that we are talking about this week? The Mothman, of course. Oh, course silly me apologies i just uh i just rolled in from east virginia so um, yeah, you're definitely I, I haven't here. i haven't heard the news of the mothman yet <laughs> tell me more about this critter well it's not good news it's it's bad news that's for sure okay well, i've, I've gathered that people keep going missing missing you say yep that's what they've been doing at night or in their homes or out in the woods just random i don't know just seems to take them sometimes hmm. what makes you think it's this uh moth creature well ever since it done showed up people just keep going missing have you seen it twice what does it look like uh, i mean it's just kind of dark and it's got Big scary wings and red eyes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it just leers. Just very terrifying. Oh, not a leer. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Anything but that. <laughs> that is perfect. Um, yeah. <laughs> we cannot stay the beast leers. <laughs> Who, um,. Who was the last person to encounter the beast? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I haven't been keeping track, but okay. I just saw it a few days ago. Well, can we ask you some questions? I, I suppose you already are, but yeah. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, yeah. Me and my uh, cohorts, and I kind of point vaguely to the end of the crowd. Where we are, it's just like a bunch of people. You can't even tell which <laughs> yeah. one. <they're. laughs> yeah. Um, 
we are a uh, gosh, what am I thinking of? I, me, the person can't think of the words. <laughs> I mean, you do have some psychic paper. <sighs> yeah, I know. Um, we are animal control. That's what I was trying to think of. We're a uh, part of the national animal control group, and I flash in my paper that looks very official. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. It has a government seal on it. <laughs> um, we're nag. And we were sent here by the <laughs> FBI to investigate this. Oh, you're a fed? I, yeah, we don't like feds around here. <laughs> I'm not a fed. We, no, we're uh, the we're NAG. Just... We're contracted. Rufus yeah. just like makes his way slowly. <laughs> <laughs> right behind Jack. <laughs> I did like vaguely gesture behind me, so it, it, it works got out. a lot colder, like as you're talking to the person and then Rufus is there. <laughs> just radiates cold. Um yeah, so if you would be so kind as to point us in the direction of whoever has the most authority on this creature right now. And they just kind of turn and look up at the preacher. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, thank you for your time, sir. Uh, we'll make sure we get that leering monster out of your town for good. We sure would appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, Jack, are you headed back to the rest of your group? Is the guy, is the preacher still talking? Yeah, he's still preaching. Do they, are they, do they have like an offering play out for like tithe? I mean, nothing official, but like they're not going to say no. No, I mean, I was going to take it, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my job. That's what Rufus was doing originally in 1966 was uh, like uh, basically. Stealing <laughs> like, collection plates? Yeah, just, just rambling through. His way south, so it was more just like out of habit than anything. Um, or yeah. way west. Yeah, exactly. Also, I feel like as you were saying that he was looking around looking for uh, any sort of white that we could put a collar around Jack so he could pretend to have more authority. Oh. Not, ne- not necessary, just like again, you know, part of his habit was like, you know, we could probably take over this town. Uh, not at all the mission <laughs> here, but. You know, there was a there was this uh, well, we call it a compound. Some people called it a cult, uh, but uh, that's a, it's a story for a different time. <laughs> Rufus was actually making his way west originally to go see the Beatles in San Francisco. <laughs> when he was in there was much more acid the first time. <laughs> yeah, he never made it there that time either. <laughs> it's your second time missing the Beatles. <laughs> I ended up in East Virginia last time. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Damn, East Virginia always gets you. <laughs> yeah, directions, man. They're they're rough. Uh, no, you can. I would say that there's probably something, maybe not like an official offering plate, but you could if you wanted. Uh, roll me coordination and subterfuge. Oh no! Um, so <laughs> mistakes were made. Um, you, you don't have to. You need me. You can leave uh, that to professionals. So I roll two d six plus my attribute and your skill. Yeah, if you have any points in that. Uh, so uh, I can add, I can do coordination plus subterfuge plus my two d six. I got. Yep. it. I, I know how to play this game. Uh, <laughs> so do the rest of us. We're we're experts. Exactly. That's ten total. Okay. Uh, yes. Hey. I don't like, need that attribute. I mean, the DC was amazing, real low. The DC was four. Amazing. And I, yes. I far surpassed. You smashed it, it out of yes. the park. <laughs> yes, of course. I feel like most of the the congregation don't really notice because a lot of them uh, are paying more attention to Jack than the preacher at this point. Just at least <laughs> in your general vicinity. Uh, He's so but electric. The preacher, the preacher just kind of like kicks it back a little bit and then stares daggers down at you and doesn't say anything. Like he just continues on with his, his sermon. <laughs> <laughs> Do we see any of this? Mm-hmm. I mean, probably not if you're still at the back. 
Yeah, like, and oh, I right. was really keeping right. my eyes on Jack's butt, honestly. <laughs> might, have, might have moved forward a little bit. Yeah. Is, there a, is there a lot of green showing on you, Velen? Is there like... Uh, There's like probably none. none. Okay, none. good, good. I was like, I do have some extra scarves. I know, I mean, I might freeze without them, <laughs> well, but... now you want to give me your scarf. <laughs> well, when I, I realized how deep into West Virginia we are, you know... I... <laughs> Just across the river, yeah, that's super, exactly. Super far just, in. Seeing the Baptist revival, I just start to fear for my comrades here. Like, I remember what happened last time, that's why I was in East Virginia and not in the West. Like I said, I mean, it's it's bad enough that most of you have English accents. That's oh no, <laughs> this close to Philadelphia. Thing. Do you remember what happened there, there last time? <laughs> yeah, I remember I was there. Oh my gosh. Master of time and space, obviously. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, so, Velen, I would say, yeah, if you and Lady Christina had moved forward at all, that you, you could probably see the uh, incident with Rufus and the preacher. And Jack's butt. <laughs> it's a Pregnant. separate entity. Shuffle. It's a... <laughs> shuffle forward for Jack's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Jack's butt gets its own minifig on the board <laughs> if we were to play. Should have had its own character. Sheet, really. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me just whip that up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, friend, maybe we shouldn't uh, steal from the person that we need to ask questions of. That's fair. I, I got lost on uh, what we were doing here. If anyone could remind me, uh, it would, I would be eternally grateful. Well, honestly, we're just killing time because the uh, doctor is not fixing the TARDIS. Well, but it sounds like there's a new mystery afoot where uh, these people seem to have been encountering some kind of alien force that perhaps we could uh, intercept and see what's and Jack, going on. Jack, so as you target... say that, oh, I was going to say, Jack, oh, as that... you say that, you see a blue streak fly through the sky as the crowd just like all gasps and looks up. It's obviously the TARDIS flying off. Yeah. Ah. Uh, well, uh, that's not Bloody good. Hell. Is it? <laughs> Spot on English. Hell. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect English accent there. I say, having put this in West Virginia, so I don't have to do an English accent. <laughs> that was correct. That's why the doctor flew off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You don't have to do a Scottish accent either. I got you. Exactly. Yeah. Because I, I nailed it earlier. You know. I listen to like spot on. Spot. <laughs> That's why I said me. my character looks like Ian McKellen, doesn't sound like Ian yeah. McKellen. Yeah, me being all over the place with my, my accent. Spot on. A Silurian <laughs> accent is actually remarkably like middle American. <laughs> Yeah, you should, have made, you should have made it sound Appreciate like West that. Virginia, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it. Or you could have just gone like full on Michigander, you know. Oh, <laughs> that's all you need. That's all you have to say. The oh, whole that's time. what we all sound like. <laughs> yeah, having never yeah, lived in Michigan, only only having lived for a short time in Wisconsin, <laughs> don't you know? Yeah, we get it's, the same the same. Same. it's the same state. Yeah. Basically. We eat a lot of Polish food, and we're cold. You know, you you nailed it. No, we were Swedish in in, in Wisconsin. Where I was, where yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, Bellin, you do I don't even live in the states. I don't know any of this. <laughs> hey, and some of those are like Canada. All right, the state so. lore. <laughs> oh yeah, boat right. You like that yeah. one? <laughs> eh? Uh, so. Mm. As this sermon wraps up, people start to make their way uh, back to their homes about their, their days. And the preacher seems to be kind of just like wrapping stuff up, um, gathering supplies. What are you all doing? Um, Jack will go up to him, flash him a winning smile, and say, <laughs> uh, that was quite the speech you had there, sir. Um, I was wondering if I could ask you some questions about the creature that you were speaking of. The spawn of Satan, yes. Yeah, I myself am a man of the cloth as well. Um, I know you probably don't recognize me, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, 
I'm uh, visiting from the parish uh, on the Across on the, the other river. side <laughs> on the other side of the states uh, from California oh, from actually. Oh, oh, you're from California. That's even worse than Ohio. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, anyways, uh, so we were wondering if we could ask you some questions about the creature that you have allegedly seen. <laughs> Yeah, so I will much have shade. You. I know, right? Have you I met Captain you... Jack? I mean, <laughs> he's, he's all fast. <laughs> I'll have you roll uh, presence and convince. Hmm. Presence. Okay, I'm really good at that. Yeah, I'm. I literally have your character sheet open just because, like, I needed something so I could reference. Wow. Um... It's gonna be a lot, probably. <clears throat> Can I also be charming and add a plus two to my convince? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so I got a 19 total. I expected higher. I'm disappointed. <sighs> Rude. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't take that much, but I expected more because you have, like, plus 12. <laughs> well, no, I've, I rolled a seven, and then I had plus five to presents. And then another five, and then plus two. Yeah, right. <laughs> Plus nineteen. Hey, I'm I'm just proud of me for doing that quick math. I'm not a math person, so anyway, Good job. Uh, we're not here for me. Yeah. So, uh, what you were asking about, like the creature? Yeah, I just asked him what he knew about the creature, basically. Well, obviously, it's it's sent here by the devil to torment us all. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, uh, in my experience, I find that the devil works usually in uh, in different ways than sending some kind of animal after you. But uh, that's okay. We uh, we can investigate it. I uh, yeah, I is, am contracted. This is, this is no mere animal, my friend. This is a literal demon on earth. Uh huh. Uh, I I actually am contracted to help bring in mysterious animals for the government and uh, make sure that they aren't, in fact, abominations of some kind. And I show them my psychic paper again, which is different <laughs> than what I showed the other person this time. Of course, of um, course. It, for you guys that don't know, the psychic paper shows you whatever you want to see. So the as person long as, seeing it as long will as the person accept doesn't anything. have, like, uh, like, psychic training or, like... Yeah. Right. High willpower, essentially. So he sees whatever he needs Baptist to see to be training. convinced, basically. Shut Boston up, Free Baptist? <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like we got so many mixed messages there, and I caught none of them. I'm uh, sorry. So, uh, TS, what were you saying? Nothing important, just that they train Baptists in, in psychic, uh, uh, you know, okay. oh. That's... That's I what not. I thought you said, but then I got very confused by the Boston cream. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Kayla's Kayla's comment. Uh, anyway, Kayla, what were you saying? What was Captain Jack saying? I was just I had just finished explaining to people that the psychic paper shows mm. you whatever you want to see, the viewer whatever they want to see. So he sees some kind of official documentation <clears throat> from the government, and also probably me being affiliated with the church at the same time. Yeah, I think he probably sees mostly stuff related to the church because I don't think the government would impress him all that much. Um, and I, they don't really explain it in the show, but I would imagine that you can see what it says. So you probably like glance over to see what it says so you know, mm -hmm. and you know, it helps mm -hmm. you lie better. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, it is some sort of like official, um, probably like Southern Baptist seal on seal. there yeah mm -hmm. yeah i think so whatever that is probably somebody holding yep. snakes <laughs> <laughs> spot on <laughs> if i could i would love to do a roll to see what i know of aliens that look like this if they really do come from dagobah five <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I know a fair amount. I've got some good knowledge or some good science. Um, yeah, uh, either of those and probably either awareness or ingenuity. 
Okay. Oh, that was a bad roll, but that's okay. <laughs> nine, nine plus um, 12. You're pretty sure the Dagobah 5 is not a planet. <laughs> and you're Damn not... It. You're not super familiar with this creature specifically. But I don't think in this time frame that they know about Star Wars terminology yet, so I'm probably going to be able to convince them with my knowledge of Star Wars. <laughs> I mean Yeah, Star Wars hadn't come out yet. Is is it is it Star Wars, by the way, or is it a different one. It's Star Wars. It, okay. Yeah. Dagobah? Yeah, yeah. You, you, it's Star Wars. I am more of a Star Trek early, so I just assume. It could be from it's, Vulcan 5, then. That works. There we go. That might have been out. Star Trek. In the Star 60s, Trek yeah. The original, yeah. I, I don't know. They were, they were uh, boldly going where no one had gone before by then? Were no man before they changed it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, 1960s. Yep. <laughs> I did say that you wouldn't be well received here, so. Well, are I you mean, right about that? I thought you were talking is... because she was femme presenting. I didn't know you meant because she was an alien. Oh, I, I meant because because she was femme, but also the alien thing. Oh, okay, cool. We're thing, on the same page. The 60s yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we cool. Are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rufus has vague memories of the 60s. Yeah, they weren't great. That was probably why he was inebriated the whole time. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, Velen, you, you are not sure about like what kind of alien creature this might be? Fair. So, at this point, what are you all doing? Because the, the preacher seems to be just kind of doing his own thing. And... Well, I had asked him if I could talk to him about the oh the creature a little bit more, and then I showed him my paper, Sorry. and then we got distracted. Yeah, that, that <laughs> happens. Thank you for reminding me. What a me. surprise. Um, yeah, he says, well, I, I don't know what more there is to say. Uh well, we need to start asking some people in town about this creature so we can try and locate it ourselves. Who who has the most experience, the most sightings, would you say, with the creature? Well, I mean, I think I would say that I'm the, the foremost expert on this creature, uh, you know, as a man okay. of the cloth. Of course. Of course. Oh God, of course. <laughs> an, an, an expert <laughs> in most things, I would say, right? <laughs> Um, obviously yeah obviously of course of course <laughs> um well then can we come in and warm up perhaps get some kind of refreshment from you if that's not too much to ask and uh, ask you some questions sir well i'm i'm a busy man but if you have any questions uh i'm happy to answer oh of course but you know what they say in uh genesis 15 6 <laughs> that uh thou shalt not turn away somebody in need and uh we do have a mighty need <laughs> no. i obviously the person was raised with a lot of knowledge of the bible so look out why, with my lord i've not referenced anything specific <laughs> i also have so much knowledge of the bible Oh, I know that I'm Genesis was like right the, the creation myth or whatever, but anyways. Mm -hmm. um... <laughs> I, I also knew that, so go us. <laughs> anyways, so I quote some uh, scripture at him to make him feel guilty about bringing us inside. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to have you roll another presence convince. Great. Great. And I will also uh, be charming. Question mark? Yeah. I was gonna say, could you wink at him too? Because <laughs> <laughs> I would probably really check. Uh, damn, I keep rolling seven, so seven plus ten is seventeen plus two is nineteen again. Okay. Same roll. Uh, well, you know, I guess yeah. If you make it quick. Uh, sir. He's <laughs> <laughs> so nice. <laughs> make it quick. Do you treat all of your uh, your patrons this way you see in 
in my church, every every neighbor is welcome. We're all children of God. Well, of course. So. But as I said, I'm a busy man. Uh huh. Okay. Well, sure. Well, we won't take up too much of your time then. And I like kind of gesture at everybody to come inside. Okay. Yeah. So he he leads you inside. Uh, does not offer you anything. <laughs> this guy sucks. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. Who knew? New mission, we feed him to the Mothman. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And then we go back in time to change 15.6 to do that so that he feels bad. <laughs> um. Okay. So I just kind of like stomp my feet of snow onto his nice clean marble floors <laughs> um, and just like drip snow everywhere since he won't offer us anything. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll start. Let's start asking him some questions then. Okay. When, when was the last time you saw the creature? Uh, just yesterday. What time of day? Mm, around dusk, but others saw him earlier in the day. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Jack's and like got s- like a notebook. He's like writing it all down. Of and did you see him make <clears throat> off with any of the victims? Well, no. I mean, we're all. Second Amendment Americans here, and uh, if we had seen him absconding with any of our neighbors, I mean, it's West Virginia. Am I wrong? Oh my god, dude. I honestly do not feel like in this time frame people would have been like that, but okay. Yeah, they were getting ready for January 6th, okay? That they were gearing up. Because that time Way of back year. In 1966, yeah. Mm hmm. January 6th, 1966. Right. Oh. <laughs> the, the math, it all adds up. It all adds up. The map is on the back of the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> are there are there similarities in the people who have been disappearing? Well, they're all from around here. Great. Any other similarities? <laughs> 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 no it just seems to be random and i would say uh lady christina if you and rufus are not involved in the questioning you could kind of snoop around if you wanted yes oh my god yes i would love that <laughs> does he have An anything valuable snoop. <laughs> <laughs> um let's see i would say probably coordination and subterfuge again yeah Okay. So maybe Rufus, Sorry, maybe Rufus doesn't participate. <laughs> How dare you? I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely not just trying to try on uh, his clothing uh, in the other room. Okay, so 10 plus 4, 14. Let me see if I have anything weird to add on. <laughs> Probably. I'm sure you have something weird. <laughs> We always make it weird. Keen right. senses? Does keen senses work for this? Mm, remind me what it says. Uh, oh, no. Uh, awareness. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Ingenuity and subterfuge. Never mind. I would let you do what awareness, you though. I mean, that would also work. That one's less, though. <laughs> oh, well, whichever is better. Yeah. Okay. I think it's just the two, then. Oh, Nope. Not that either. Okay, so 14. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you wanted to use your uh, your special pocket to try to add to that, I would allow it. The special, the resourceful pocket? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. I will do that. Okay. So you use a story point and uh, yeah. manage to find a device to let you scan for like alien tech. So essentially that like lowers the DC. Um, you do find sort of in the back of the church away from where the others are that there is what appears to be like a sensor uh, for like incense, but it is not a normal sensor. It definitely has some kind of alien tech. Ooh, okay. I'm going to, is it like something I could pick up? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit hard to hide, potentially, but you okay. could pick it up. What could go wrong um, with you picking up random alien tech? 
<laughs> Absolutely nothing. That's As Doctor Who point. proves all the time. <laughs> nothing nothing bad can happen. No regrets. <laughs> when in West Virginia, you know? Yeah. I think we've said that before. <laughs> At um, least one time. <laughs> could I kind of like figure out maybe what its origins or if there if mm. there, like has an obvious origin? You're not entirely sure of the origin of it, uh, but it seems to have some sort of like psychic use. Oh, I will <laughs> interact with it. Okay. In what kind um, of like are you trying it's to like turn an it incense on? holder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. Uh, yeah. Well, if you are act trying like to I'm it, <laughs> yeah, if you're trying to activate it, um. Let's see. What would I have you roll here? Uh, I'm going to say probably roll resolve. Resolve. I believe in you. <laughs> I have pretty good resolve. That is a five plus five. So that's 10. I'm just checking. And I can't remember. Did did Lady Christina have psychic training? I don't believe she does. Okay. I know Jack does, but I couldn't remember. Um, but you do have some knowledge of like technology and things like that. So I think you would know enough that like you're kind of messing with it and you realize maybe I shouldn't turn this on because <laughs> of like the the psychic. <laughs> Uh, abilities it seems to have but you can guess it's probably used to like mind control people uh, potentially oh, like okay. large crowds of people at say like a revival <laughs> <laughs> so specific <laughs> hypothetically you know. what could it be used for <laughs> so I think at that point I would uh, kind of walk up to Jack and be like darling you have to see this lovely incense come over this way and just like take him over <laughs> mm, of because course jack dear, of was, course because jack was talking to the preacher uh the preacher was like listen folks i i'm very busy as i said i think it's probably time for you to leave um uh, go ahead go ahead i was just, i was gonna <laughs> fake a heart attack so you might want to say what you need to say. <laughs> yes. um I'm going to, because he saw the psychic paper already, so mm -hmm. I'm going to take off my ski goggles, and I'm going to say, listen, I'm going to look at him, and I'm going to kind of back him into a corner, because he's going to be <laughs> kind of scared of me. I'm going to say... Are you, lifting, are you lifting the veil as well? Oh, oh yeah. No, the whole thing. Okay. The Great wow. Thing. <laughs> This is Listen, this is I don't, I don't very important that we find our missing brethren. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Vela, no. Uh, okay. So, uh, what we're going to do here. Roll is... initiative. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to have you roll 4d6, and you're going to take the lower two. Okay. And then you're going to add. Um, what was I going to do? Yeah, I'm going to say presence. I got the same thing twice. So I got a six twice. <gasps> um, nice. And so presence mm -hmm. um, it is plus three, so nine. But would we say that this is related to courage or um, quick reflexes or being tough? Maybe tough. Well, but tough for you is more of your like ability to take damage. Yeah, I know. I really want to fight somebody because that's what I'm looking at. All my skills seem like it's time to time to. I mean, if this down. intimidation doesn't work, you can just swing at them, right? Like, well, I was gonna gonna... say you are pretty strong, so yeah. like, if you wanted to try to physically, uh, yeah, like... no, I'll back him into a corner, like push him. Okay, yeah. So I'll let you. I'll let you add your strength to it. Okay, so that yeah, makes out. it. Uh, that makes it pl so. Six plus five is 11, plus what is the skill I'm using? Uh, no, it'd be your strength. Oh, I thought just attributes, no additional skill? Right. 
Okay. Yeah, because I'm mean, eleven. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, I would say your alien appearance is enough to freak him out. Uh, but he's not going to be convinced. He's just going to panic. Okay, and... so I, I slap him. That's an appropriate <laughs> response. That's, uh, Amazing. That's uh, in the handbook for unit. If uh, if they start to panic, you slap them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, roll me strength and conflict. Okay. Okay, so that's seven plus ten. Seventeen. Um... Uh, I have something that's related to She's conflict. Strong. <laughs> yeah, 17. Okay. Uh, yeah, you slap him and he falls limp to the ground, unconscious. Oh, no. <laughs> Did we just okay. kill a preacher? <laughs> he's he's in Virginia? No, or he'll pastor? be fine. He'll just... He'll, he'll think he's gone... Well, he'll think he's seen demons. It's fine. Um... <laughs> Yeah, being knocked yeah. unconscious doesn't do anything like brain damage. It doesn't... No. No, of course. <laughs> medicine says otherwise, obviously. <laughs> I have a two in medicine. He'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at medicine either. That tracks. But he really is. We have Jack resuscitate him, and then... Guys, I have, have answers. one set of skills. I could have poisoned him. But I didn't. I just slapped him. It's he's fine. Uh, are me and Lady Christina still in the incense room? I mean, it's not a separate room. It's still in like the mm. main area. But <laughs> we know we have the incense room. <laughs> <laughs> I have my sitting room. Important part of the church is the incense room. <laughs> yeah, the sitting room and then the says, incense room. Says the obvious religious experts here. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, yes. For all of our incense ceremonies. <laughs> There are a lot. That, listen, you're spot on there. There are there's a lot of incense involved. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, Jack and Lady Christina are in this back area of the church where the incense. Uh, well, Velen, I think that was one way to handle the situation. Um, it you're welcome. At least, uh, at least got him out of our hair for a minute. We can investigate yeah. a little bit closer this time. Yeah, and the we don't have to go out in the cold. Exactly. Yeah, the slap <laughs> reverberates through the church, so like it was very <laughs> obvious to everyone. <laughs> the echoing she puts slap. back on her gl- glasses and veil, and she's like, <laughs> yeah, "Everything's great now." You are quite fearsome <laughs> when you have your mind for it. Absolutely, and you're quite. I find that very endearing. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to get freaky. I think I need to go to the incense room. <laughs> You guys need a room. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we need an incense room. Oh, or a whole <laughs> I can't escape it. Um, I, think, I think that's when we start like fleecing them, though. Like we start checking the pockets, uh, definitely for clues, oh, yeah. and not for cash. <laughs> um, <laughs> touching the mechanical doodads. Yeah, because you know, cash from America in the 1960s is going to be so valuable once you get out of. <laughs> This time and space. Yeah, it's a, a collector's item when you go to the uh-huh. Listen, we'll lots of it. planets have a north, and there they use the cash. Okay. <laughs> Look at you knowing Doctor Who stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not a fool. I just play one on television, Rick. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, you, you check his pockets. There's nothing of note in there. Damn it. Um, but, Jack, what were you and Lady Christina doing with the incense? I think uh, she's showing me yeah. the object, and oh, I guess I God. would <laughs> I would investigate it <laughs> um, totally unsexually. I almost had the earbuds. <laughs> I mean, as much as I can. I'm sure Jack. the object is is a sexual term sometimes for Jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So I would investigate it. I can also tell that it's a psychic sort of alien tool. Definitely. Can I interact with it? Yeah. Uh, what are you trying to do with it? I guess turn it on. So I would say Lady Christina probably <laughs> kind of gave you a heads up of like, it is doesn't like work. nature. <laughs> and like she had already kind of figured out that it is probably some sort of like mind control device. Yeah. 
Yeah, you right. cannot tell Captain Jack that he can't turn something on because that's just <laughs> that's a challenge. Right. He's got a will. Um, I mean, it might. He's it never might been to told that he couldn't turn someone on. That's true. Uh, Jack, is, Jack has met asexual people. Yes. That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> what again? Um, the challenge is still there, though, right? Always. He's gonna try. Uh, but he still respects boundaries. Exactly. Um. Yeah, but so we know it's a mind control device. Can I see? Is there like a? Uh, is there like an item log on it or something like a recently used feature <laughs> that I can toggle? <laughs> the recent searches. Yeah. Uh, it, it seems to be warm to the touch. <laughs> okay. So it it seems like it might have been used recently. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I can't like is there a way for me to to see like what message it is broadcasting no yeah does it have okay. bluetooth <laughs> <laughs> can, can we turn it off, off? oh right, it's already yeah. it wasn't on I think um, it was on when we got here and then would, he turned it off would you like me to smash it with my boot Sure. I mean, sure. Okay. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Great job. That's exactly what it sounds like. Foley artist right there. Crunch. <laughs> sounds exactly like Aaron saying. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Yep. That was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so, you all know that the Mothman has been spotted fairly recently. Uh, there is you know, this alien device that you found, and obviously the preacher probably knows more than he was letting on. So, what's the next move? I I'm fully dressed as the pastor now. I've taken <laughs> the not his clothes that he's wearing because that would be okay, appropriate, good. but the 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 other clothes that he had set up. I'm gonna say, did you just um, leave him in like his dress shoes and black socks and tidy whities No, no, no. <laughs> this isn't a, a random coming of age story in the '90s, Rick. This is 1966. <laughs> this man has a coat closet. Yikes! <laughs> Gosh, uh, coming of but, age. Uh, old man <laughs> <laughs> do we do like again I, i'm dressed as him purely just in case but do we take this object and run i mean well, depending it's been on smashed, how much but... oh it's we been smashed, smashed okay yeah do we that take the, the remnants that was the, that was the crunch i wasn't sure if it worked or not so uh <laughs> <laughs> the crunch can mean many things uh <laughs> 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 i'm saying like there might be some danger involved with staying now that we've robbed and assaulted this man. Nah. If he starts to wake up, I'll slap him again. You'll, you'll crunch him. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. We kind of lost our only lead. <laughs> <laughs> Should we question him when he wakes up? I don't really want to wait for him to wake up. I could slap him again. <laughs> To wake him up, <laughs> slap him awake. Sure. Or or to death. I've seen that before. You know, just the light slapping <clears throat> that wakes people up. I could give it a try. I could try and resuscitate him, mouth to mouth, of course. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I was saying before. If we have him questioning things, we might get some different kinds of answers. I think I think you're gonna make him question a lot of things at that point. <laughs> well, and I'll just uh, I will kind of make myself and scare so. We can. You can even deny my presence. Mm, mm -hmm. I will we'll gaslight him. Maybe. Okay, I like that. <laughs> gaslight, uh, girl boss. Yep. Let's, yeah. let's do this. And don't forget the gatekeep. That's important. Yeah. I don't have That's any right. gates to keep. I'm an old man wearing somebody else's clothing. I don't think I'm really in the, charge here. The church gate, obviously. <laughs> oh, actually, that's true. I am an old white yeah. dude wearing uh, church that's clothing. Right. I could probably get some answers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can just gatekeep everything now. Exactly. We'll yeah. just go tell them that they didn't see anything, and I'm maybe the that's the now. plan. I'll try and wake him up, and then Rufus can come in as the new clergyman and start questioning him as one of him, like you know, <laughs> on his level. Can you whisper in my ear what I need to say, though? Like, uh, like <laughs> yeah. an old rom com. Like, because yeah. I'm gonna get it wrong. While while Jack is whispering seductively, he says, "Yeah." 
uh, <laughs> a stranger enters the church and they appear to be just totally spaced out. Like they are staring off into the distance, don't even seem to notice you. Mm -hmm. And they go into like a back room and don't mm -hmm. say anything. I follow Jack them. like elbows Jack elbows Rufus and he's like go <laughs> go speak with him. You're in charge here now. Oh no. <laughs> um I'm, I'm <laughs> Velen yep. absolutely ignores the fact that Jack just said Rufus is in charge and goes and bees in charge. <laughs> I only mean he looks in charge because he's wearing the priest vestments. Don't worry, I always look in charge. Yeah, that's true. You, I bet you are in charge, Velen, in many ways. Uh, so, Velen, as you and Rufus, and I think, Alana, yeah. you said that you were going as well? Okay. Yeah. Um, as you all make your way into this room that this stranger has gone into, uh, you see that he seems to be like grabbing a lot of tools and then starts to make his way back out. What kind of tools were they? Uh, just like a general set of tools, like wrenches, hammers, all kinds of stuff. Um, I try to get his attention by snapping in front of him. No reaction and he just continues to walk. And I do lightly slapping him, like, <laughs> like, it, like hitting him on the shoulder or something yeah. to like really jostle him. Do you but kill not... another villager? This is getting dark so quick. I yell <laughs> flame of voodoo, uh, full Ian <laughs> McKellen, and I, you know, you shall not pass uh, when I jump in front of him. Uh, yeah. So nothing happens whenever you are lightly slapping. Oh, no. Okay. Now I shake him. Like, grab both of his shoulders and shake him. Nothing. No reaction. He just well, continues to try should... to walk. Even if you, like, lift him up bodily, he just continues to try to walk. Let's uh, ignore the oh. man on the floor and uh, follow <laughs> this guy instead. Yeah. Okay. I can still Are... try to wake him up, though, of course. And uh, I just go and give him a big kiss straight on the lips <laughs> while he's asleep. <laughs> He kind of stirs for, a little bit. Just for later. That one's for yeah. later. And I like whisper in his ear. And I'm like, you'll see me in your dreams. You're going to hook up with this priest. I can see it. You're going to change this whole town. West Virginia is going to be the new East Virginia. <laughs> it's going to be a safe haven. This is the revolution that West Virginia needed. It is. Yeah. I'm, I'm for it. Jack is here for the, the Point Pleasant West Virginia queer revolution. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds rad. Uh, yeah, so uh, are you all following closely or are you keeping a distance? Or we're we're close like Scooby Doo, like like the whole gang, like Zoink Scoob. And we're just all like, stacked up you're all, yeah, you're all like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think Jack is pretty intimate with all of you in some form or fashion, so he wishes. And she winks at <laughs> the intimate, not sexual. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you all are following pretty closely, um, you can see that he seems to be headed towards the bridge. The and, silver bridge? Mm hmm And he starts to head underneath it. Let's go Nothing there. good has ever happened under no. a bridge. <laughs> no. Just like that uh, song said. <laughs> yep. <laughs> One brain cell. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he seems to be going down there, and you see that he like rounds a bend and then disappears. Hmm. Like Can David we... Blaine disappears, or like yeah, we lost just... sight of him. Uh, I think. Jack, more than anybody, would have more experience with things like perception filters, and he seems mm -hmm. to have possibly walked through one. That I really thought you were going to say, with, yeah, with David Blaine. I thought you were like, Jack definitely <laughs> has more experience with magicians. He has some experience with David Blaine. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> um, yeah, actually, that was my thought, too, that I would have known to look for, like, a, a wall or something. Mm -hmm. So I do, yeah. I kind of, like, uh I guess I don't have a sonic screwdriver, but um I like, mean you don't you don't have to do anything because like you you would have seen perception filters and know that like this guy just walked right through it. So you mm -hmm. could probably do the same. Okay. So we just keep walking then. Okay. Like 
platform nine and three quarters style. <laughs> so <laughs> as you walk through, you see that there is a fairly large group of these people who appear to be in a trance almost, uh, working on essentially a flying saucer. Oh, do I recognize it? It's from Dagobah 5. <laughs> <laughs> I know lots of other planets. <laughs> I don't know. Are you sure? Name name one. Yeah. Name one. Where else are the bleep blurps found? Uh... <laughs> Mars is another planet. <laughs> you set the bar so low. <laughs> Rufus, don't question my authority in this. <laughs> I have so much authority now. Look at the collar. <laughs> He's a white man with a, a priest collar. He has the I, most authority I'm... in all of West Virginia. Yeah, and I'm, I think a, I found my I'm a green woman with a with a ten foot tongue. So, <laughs> wow, that you know what that does come with a lot of authority. I will agree with you there. <laughs> I'm quite intimidated. Yeah. <laughs> intimidated or aroused? What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm learning i'm learning how to play this game and i just it's when in doubt horny i get it proud of you, proud of you. i understand and doctor who now four minutes in yeah that is when doctor do i get who. my tardis right now right now <laughs> uh Bellin, i would say probably not it doesn't look like any kind of ship you've seen before do i know anything about I don't know how it would fly because I have a fairly good science or I think without even rolling you can tell it is damaged in some way and okay. these people seem to be repairing it uh, with parts from the bridge or from wherever they can scrounge them some of them are obviously uh, bridge parts and you might have even noticed on your way down that parts of the bridge were missing Oh, How complete wonderful. Is it? They are uh, going to break the bridge by using it for scrap. Uh, to answer your question, Kayla, I would say it's almost complete. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Would it be helpful if I rebroke it? <laughs> <laughs> one set of skills here. I mean, uh -huh. one that... One that will break spaceships. I have many skills. <laughs> <laughs> At least two. <laughs> I mean, are you asking me or are you asking the others? Yeah, yeah no, I'm I'm asking any anybody who wants to ask, do, do we want it broken? Or because, but these are obviously our missing people. So oh, it would seem point. to, it would seem yeah. to me that our, alien or demon is not actually killing people mm -hmm. or taking them away they're just mind controlling them maybe I mean, we can just is wait for yeah. go ahead i was just saying maybe we can wait for cover of darkness and see if the uh creature shows up and then question them directly you sound so cool when you say things like cover of darkness <laughs> i am cool i <laughs> I'm just suggesting, like, maybe this is a better fate for them than staying in West Virginia in 1966. <laughs> we don't know where they're going. It could be a wonderful place like Dagobah 5. <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> they could be used as slave labor there. We don't know. But right now, they don't have the, the state of mind to make that decision for them. That's a good they point. do not. They are not doing this with their consent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, doing the crunch didn't seem to have any effect on the mind power. So perhaps we <laughs> well, should just wait for. Or perhaps like there said. are more of those around. Mm. Yes, we must must check each incense room. <laughs> in the county and see uh, Jack do you happen to have one of those um, sonic screwdrivers that the doctor is known to wave around and make it go beep beep I think it goes bleep uh, more I am 
I, I believe only the doctor and uh, his companion River have access to those. Those are a mm. special Time Lord technology that uh, nobody else has been able to uh, recreate. Damn. But if he was here and I like shake my <laughs> fist at the sky, then he could help us. <laughs> <laughs> This is so him, just leaving <laughs> us here in 1960s West Virginia to figure things out on our own. Well, um... Do we want to wait and see if the Mothman shows up? I suppose. They don't seem to be any danger right now. The mm-hmm. only thing that is in danger is the bridge. Mm-hmm. Um... I don't know how to avoid it collapsing, but it doesn't seem very structurally sound at this point. That's uh, pretty common for this time period, honestly. <laughs> uh, they made bridges out of just any old scrap metal they could find. Okay, so... well... <laughs> structurally speaking, it's not sound to begin with. It's right. funny you say that, because after the, the Silver Bridge collapsed, like they actually went and investigated a lot of other bridges, because uh-huh. they're like, holy shit. I know. (laughs) On the East Coast, especially, like, there's, like, a high percentage of bridges that are, they don't know because they've investigated all of them, but there's, like, a high percentage that is expected to just break down at any given moment, like, in this decade. Mother trucker, that is terrifying. Our infrastructure is amazing. To be fair, to be fair, fair, this specific style of bridge was, I guess, not very structurally sound in itself. (laughs) Mm-hmm. It sucked so, in general. <laughs> yeah, uh, the last one I think was in like 2007 that they finally tore it down. But that's mm-hmm. too near to now. Know, right? That is <laughs> so upsetting. It was, it was in like South America, so like none of us probably drove. Oh up. sure, the, it's fine <laughs> if it's not us in danger. Wow, Rick, great. there goes the South American audience. <laughs> To all my friends in Brazil, I do not represent Rick's beliefs, okay? Anyway, so the plan, it sounds like, is to wait for Mothman. Yeah, uh, I would just, if we happen to see anyone going toward the same bridge support, I might try and turn them toward a different one so that (laughs) they kind of spread out the damage and not just... (laughs) Make it all on one. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Clean but of course, right? you have to remember, Valon, that this is not our our planet or our time period, and we uh we can't interfere with time that much. I mean, so. it is all of your planet, but definitely not your time period. Yeah, well, it's not Jax planet he's not from here he's from earth yeah he is he's he's sort of is he's from the the station that orbits yeah i guess that's fair he's human (laughs) yeah yeah anyway (laughs) and i i basically have citizenship here now so don't worry i'm through marriage or no i'm not married that's that's vestra that's married damn it (laughs) (laughs) no silurians were here long before humans so that's true yeah you probably all evolved from us anyway yeah again it's like the chuds like you were here (laughs) underground and and you like this is basically your bridge we could just say that you lay claim good 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 point rufus thank you so much for Eminent domain, you know, manifest <laughs> destiny. This is your bridge now. Like a true American, you claim it. <laughs> West Virginia be damned. By Lurian American, yep. Yes, I'm from the metropolis of East Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually under C. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> under Virginia. My bad. Yeah. Very, very ancient Silurian settlement. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you all try to uh, redirect these mind-controlled humans. Uh, it doesn't seem to do a whole lot of good. They don't seem to really respond. Uh, but as it starts to darken, you do see this shadowy winged figure with very <gasps> intense red eyes. Santa. <laughs> yep. Nailed it. 
sorry. Santa is very dark winged and has red eyes. <laughs> exactly. All the stories say so. I've heard the songs. <laughs> <laughs> and they seem to make their way towards the ship. Do uh, I recognize Harry... them? Are they re reptilian in any way? No. They they seem to have moth-like features. <laughs> <laughs> Little antenna. <laughs> Are they clinically depressed and and r pink and yellow? They they do not appear to have spray painted themselves. Black, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> this is not Parker in 1966. Damn it! <laughs> you can't romance Parker in all of the games. <laughs> but technically, Parker is me. So like, that <laughs> counts. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. So now that we've figured out that the Mothman is moth-like. Yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, she asked, so... It's, you're not wrong. We didn't... I... Uh, Val, whatever my name is, Velen doesn't know that this is called Mothman Invasion, okay? I'm not I think, you all would have, I think you all would have heard people talking about the Mothman in the crowd. They, they did explain that we were that the Mothman was afoot. Um, but do but, we know like wing? of a Mothman being like some sort of alien creature? Like, have we ever heard that name before? Um, I mean, since we have established that Rufus had lived in this time at some point on Earth, <laughs> mm -hmm. Rufus definitely would know of Mothman. He never met him, but like. We ran in the same circles, you know. It was like friend of a friend, same Christmas yeah. parties, but yeah. <laughs> We've heard telltale of the cryptozoology that is uh, <laughs> Mothman, right? Like it's the Sasquatch thing, like and like I'm this, but sure, very... And I'm pretty sure, like Torchwood and Unit would have oh, that's a good some point. kind of files on you know the major cryptids. So yeah, you you would have at least passing knowledge. Okay, that's good. You wouldn't necessarily know that it was an alien, but you would have, you know, at least heard yeah. about it. Yeah. Right. But I feel like we would assume that most cryptid things are alien. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fair. At this time period, and at least. The other thing you notice about Mothman is that uh, it is leading a small group of people into the perception filter, like a new group of people. Hmm. So are we going to be direct or just fight him? Or I think we should beat around the bush. <laughs> I mean, I could just go up and show my alien face and then he'll know that he's in company with people who are not human. It's like wearing a pride flag shirt. People know. <laughs> Yeah, I've always done much better as like like an ant, like like passive aggression, like just go up there and, and like, hey, so like I'm perfectly fine with you being here. Um, I was trying to figure out if you meant like the insect ant or like mm -hmm. the relative ant. No, I never mean the funny. insect ant. Uh, I thought you never. would know this about me. No, this is called the no, moth what? man, uh, not the ant man. I mean. Aren't moths insects, though? I'm a little disappointed in you, actually. <laughs> uh, but we can get to that at a different time. Uh, That's a whole so, separate show. <laughs> it's a whole different show, exactly. <laughs> so are you going to crush this moth man? Or is, is Jack going to well, I, I just yeah. I feel like those are the two options, right? Do we, do we talk to him and tell him or them, wh hey, what's going on? Like, can you stop stealing people from this I think we should talk to them, village? Yeah. Or yeah. should I just go in poisoning him? Lady I'm fine. Can you take uh, I, I Mothman to Jack the incense room? There were so many people <laughs> talking. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can you take him to the incense room? Not you, oh. Alana. <laughs> the other I just Alana. said, I think... <laughs> uh, I just said, I think we should talk. Definitely talk. Okay. <laughs> <Don't kill. laughs> what were you saying, T.S.? Not nothing important. Uh, just stuff about the incense room. He wants I just to go to the incense people. room. Yeah, yeah. Got to have some alone time, some Rufus time. <laughs> no, I didn't want to take it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. This parachute is a knapsack. <laughs> 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 anyway, 
uh, yeah, what's the plan here? I think we should. Uh, I we see the we see the Mothman, mm-hmm. and we all want to talk to him. Captain Jack just walks out to the uh, spaceship and is like, "Well met, sir. Can we have a moment of your time?" <laughs> and the moth person just turns and leers at you. And you can hear in your mind. <laughs> we were told that they leer. That was the first thing we were yeah. told. Yeah. yeah. I know. He, you that's have, you quite a leer. That. that is quite a leer. Yeah. It is not the Spanish Inquisition. You can't expect this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh-huh. So as it, it leers, you can hear in your head. What are you doing here? Oh, that's a loaded question. Um, well, you see, we were traveling through time and space, and we were trying to go to the Beatles concert in the 1960s in San Francisco, but then we ended up here instead, and then we were three months late, so we missed the concert, unfortunately, and I have this whole thing prepared for Ringo, which now I'm going to have to travel back in time and find him again and do that. Um, (laughs) and then we got here, and we heard talk of, uh, what we assume is you, the Mr. Mothman. And uh, um, we began to investigate as to what was going on. And we followed these lovely people here, saw them dismantling this bridge or shrine or what have you to build your spaceship, a lovely vessel, by the way. (laughs) And uh, so now here we are. And uh, we just wanted to kind of say hi and get to know you and see what's going on. So Um, I'm going to start by saying that as you're talking, you can see that like these intense red eyes, like they start to squint and then they just get this very puzzled look the more you talk. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and okay. you can just like hear these thoughts as it's just like, I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> but it's not like interrupting you. It's like it's broadcasting and doesn't realize uh-huh. it. Uh, Bellin okay. takes off her stuff and says, we're not all human here. It's fine. And it just leers at you. You're among company. Yeah. Um, what? Uh, I think the question is, what are you doing here? I crashed and I'm trying to go home. Where's home? Right. But you are having all these humans work for you without their consent. Well, I couldn't do it myself. Well, then why not just ask for help? I mean, this is a primitive planet i didn't think that they would be able to help you know i've (laughs) i've lived in all sorts of time periods here and have always found accommodating people um no matter what there are always some open-minded individuals and you know we'd love to help you uh if especially if you were to give us you know insight on how to help you it, it's fine. We're almost finished. Yes, but I am a little concerned about the bridge falling down now, which would endanger all these people who are not knowing what they're doing, which, you know, that's fine, but we don't want anyone on the bridge when it falls. Not my problem. That's a interesting way... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to view things. We could go tell everybody that's on the bridge that there's an angel below it and they're going to ascend. <laughs> they're all going to get raptured. <laughs> right. Well, at least at least the angel's going to leave. I mean, so like get them off the bridge um, with a man of the cloth can go and say this to potentially save some lives. But Rufus, how are you going to uh, time the bridge falling at the right time. Not when it has vehicles and traffic on it. I don't know, it's like you, you put uh, an old white dude on the other side of the bridge and say, like, come on over here. <laughs> Everyone uh, shout out fast. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Goes goes in one again. It doesn't go both ways. <laughs> it doesn't go, exactly, exactly. It That's doesn't? Just work. 
I I thought all all traffic went both ways. It's my mistake. <laughs> this traffic is West is, Virginia, okay? That, traffic is inherently by that's, that yeah. that bridge <laughs> is for exits only. Uh, <laughs> at least that's what they claim. We all know what happens in the incense room, but <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm i glad to meet you. However, you can't just, you know, treat the creatures of this planet without respect and, and put them in danger. Perhaps we can just help you build the ship quickly and uh, get you out of here and get you back to your planet and your time period. And uh, you will just never return to West Virginia in the 1960s again. How does that sound? I absolutely do not want to come back here. Great. Well, then we're in we're in agreement there. So, what do you need to finish the ship now? They're nearly finished. Uh, just a just a few more minutes, even. Oh, okay. But you know, as you can tell, uh, my compatriot here, and he points at Felon, is very strong, very capable. And of course, we have a man of the cloth who is always very <laughs> capable, and uh, Lady Christina here. She's got many, many, many talents. <laughs> and, um, I, I think we can pull our resources together. Dexterous and, uh, little fingers, that Christina. <laughs> somehow, like, somehow, even though you can't see eyebrows on smiles. Mothman, it seems to raise its eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I want to try and convince him to to let us finish it instead. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I'm gonna use my voice of authority on this one. Yeah. So I'm rolling presence and convince. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oof. Okay. That <laughs> is five plus five <laughs> plus five, 15, 16, 17. I thought you were going to get another 19. <laughs> <laughs> Jack can only roll 19s. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah. They, they seem to be in agreement that you know they want to get out of here as quickly as possible uh but they just say well as i said we're almost finished it'll just be another few minutes and then whatever you want to do with the bridge that's not my problem and what happens to all of these people after you have left i mean i assume they'll do their normal primitive thing that they were doing beforehand do they do they just yeah. go back? Do they get their their minds back? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I can't control them from that far away. Okay, what, well, what about as long as, uh, as as long as they don't continue to take pieces from the bridge, perhaps uh, we'll just let you finish and be on your way. That seems like the best resolution for all of us. Yeah, they they wouldn't need to take any more pieces once I'm gone. It's just <laughs> to repair the ship. So where did you say you were from again? <laughs> uh, you, you've probably never heard of it oh try me <laughs> I've been around uh, have you ever been to Vitoon I don't know have I <laughs> you tell me <laughs> uh, I've never been myself but uh, I met a charming creature from there uh, one time at a uh, a port town not far from here actually met yeah. Mm -hmm. Matt. A lot of a lot of deep conversations. <laughs> yes. A lot of deep <laughs> conversations. I knew deep was in like caps lock, like when you, when you said it. Italics. It was like yeah. super hard yeah. underlined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just as <it is> possible. <laughs> <laughs> but perhaps we can visit someday. It just doesn't respond. And turns mm. back to its ship. When it turns, you have... I want to look at its butt. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's like a close second to Jack's butt. Me and Velen exchange a glance at that. <laughs> uh, do you have some kind of communicator aboard your ship that we could borrow? We need to ride out of here as well. <laughs> can uh, we get to ride? <laughs> I don't think it's working. Oh, we can try and fix it. Uh, we're quite capable between all of us. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I've showcased all of my skills so far. What does your mug say, TS? Daddy's little girl? 100% daddy's girl. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> you asked. I'm just answering. Uh-huh, okay. Uh-huh. And Daddy is Jack, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> And Rufus is his girl, so oh, man, uh, Jack's... this is a conversation Jack's... for the instance room. Okay, this is this is not this is not West Virginia under a bridge talk. Yeah, Rufus is a. I've heard the song. It is what you talk about under the bridge. So Rufus is a very good Protestant, and he only has conversations about you know things like that of that nature in right. the room. How much we dislike East Catholic. Virginia. That's where your <laughs> Any, confessions are. Yeah. Right, right. Yes, yeah, so all those Protestant confessions. <laughs> I don't even know what a Protestant is. <laughs> you don't have time for me to explain, but it's not worth right, it. Right, right. Let's not talk important. about some kings and how they don't like following rules and... Uh, <laughs> Um, what, what if we just said, well, that it's sad about this bridge and we get on this ship because... Well, that's what, yeah, I was hoping that we could try to radio the TARDIS so we could get out of here. And also just keep people off of the bridge. I don't mind the bridge falling. I just would prefer to, you know, minimize casualties. Can we, uh, like put a blockade? Build a blockade or something? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm very that's strong. I, I could lift some things. Yeah, you are very strong. <laughs> so Do you want as... me to lift you? We just tell some hippies <laughs> that they can protest. It is like Muscle mommy. They like have them go lay down at the front of each side of the bridge. Yeah, and... right. Mm-hmm. Jack protest. single-handedly introduced the term muscle mommy into the 1966 <laughs> oh, <yeah>. okay. <laughs> of course. That's They're the going to come out of their trance and just go, people. muscle mommy. <laughs> 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 Only the thing, new king unlocks. People. Yeah, all these different <laughs> people, like, they won't remember the ship or the Mothman, but, like, Muscle Mommy, that's a... <laughs> that's a thing. And they must yeah. discover it, you know? They must go and investigate what that means to them. I mean, it's a great discovery to make for They're gonna all, form for East everybody. Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> the nope. Muscle Mommies of East Virginia. This is how it starts. This becomes East oh, Virginia. Man. Okay, well, I'm just going to take some notes for Monster Hearts later. (laughs) Anyway. So, as you're all having this conversation about how to uh, deal with the bridge, Mothman gets into his ship and seems to start up, and as it takes off, and uh, these people, they start to just mindlessly walk back towards the town, but you can kind of hear as they get further away, and as the ship gets further away, that they're all just very confused, and you all hear a familiar sound as the TARDIS rematerializes. That was Thank beautiful. You. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> Perfect. Can I just have you for all of my streams, Kayla, to do the sound effects? Yeah, just in the background doing sound effects. It's like, um, uh, whose line is it anyway, where they have that, that game where people out from the audience have to make sound effects for them. Yes. Yep. Amazing. <laughs> I've seen very little of that show, but I love it. Oh, really? It's great. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm hiring you now, and you can. <laughs> but the funny thing is, with that segment of the show, the audience members are like so awkward that it takes them like five seconds to do a sound effect, like after the actors have prompted them. So it's like you're like, oh, the TARDIS is coming in, and then I just pause awkwardly for ten seconds, and then as they start to say something else, I make the sound effect noise. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I, yeah. I expect nothing less. Yeah, great. <laughs> uh, so, as the TARDIS rematerializes, uh, the doctor pokes his head out and just says, Oh, uh, well, I seem to have made it back. Uh, Hooray! Yeah. I wonder. Yes. Uh, Captain we... Jack just... Oh, go ahead. Go oh, ahead. We need to find a way to keep people off of this bridge and make it fall so that it doesn't happen later. Some kind of explosive, or repair perhaps? it. The doctor just kind of looks uh, concerned and says, ah, "I'm so sorry. It's a fixed point. This bridge has to collapse." Do people have to die? Well, I'm, I'm sure we could probably. And he just like, and you're like, sick. Oh, 
Yeah, I forgot I had this. <laughs> <laughs> totally the wrong doctor. That's awesome. Yeah. I was not expecting that. So. <laughs> Me neither. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, and just like, oh, you know, I think we could prevent a little bit of uh... casualty. Yeah. Thank you, Jack. Mm -hmm. You always take the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> I could take other things out of your mouth if you'd like me to. Well, wouldn't you say you would put things in in the mouth? Like I, uh -huh. and then you take know what? I'm new to the back double entendre, but mm -hmm. <laughs> don't question the entendre, Rufus. You don't That's even. Fair. You probably don't even know how those things work, do you? <laughs> Listen, I've been, been, the I've been around the block a few times. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Like West Virginia in 1966, some old man East stopped Virginia. me from getting on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you're suddenly realizing it was the doctor all along. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so are you guys doing anything else other than like trying to prevent these people from dying? It does uh, happen. Captain next Jack, year, but just puts his arm around the doctor and like turns him around and walks him into the TARDIS. And starts asking him what he knows about Mothmen with um, like juicy booties. I was gonna say you're gonna ask about the butt, right? Like, I, yeah. I, I feel like that was that was mostly trying to get all of his Mothman lore. Yeah. 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 Oh, he has he has so much information about Mothman's mm -hmm. butt. Mm -hmm. So much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, are you doing anything with like the preacher or anything else in town? Oh, who cares about that guy? The preacher? He'll be fine. He's gonna, he's gonna have an experience. He's gonna wake up and not know if that was real or if that was the devil. If any of that even happened. Yeah. If, so, he was, if he's clothes. gay, like, what's going on? Yeah, so as our Definitely crew, gay. Uh, or at least a little bi, you know. Yeah. Uh, so as our crew rejoins on the TARDIS and uh, takes off to hopefully make it to that Beatles concert in time. We <laughs> are going to fade away and we see the preacher reawaken, questioning things a little bit, uh, kind of wiping his mouth, yeah. a little confused, <laughs> uh, only to go to the incense room and take out another sensor. <gasps> and that's where we're going to end. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be like a uh, a Jane from Firefly. I'm going. I'll be in my bunk type of thing. He's going oh, to the no. incense room. It was implied. It was implied. <laughs> I'll be in my bunk. I'll be in the incense room. Solid reference. <laughs> T.S. You're right. Jack only rolls sixty nine. Thank you. And four twenty. And four twenty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somehow, with 2d6 plus single digit <laughs> numbers. If I've learned anything, no. it's that he will mm -hmm. find a way. Oh, yes. Yeah. Life, life. life. He, has, <laughs> he has both the tough voice of authority and the voice of authority to add to his presence and command oh, wow. roles. So. <clears throat> Very authoritative, you know? Yeah. <laughs>